Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 26th. Uh, this week, I'm still collaborating with Marie Moore, so if you haven't checked her out yet, please do so at the link in the description below. Also, if you'd like to find more awesome readers, check out astrojar.com. It's a new site I'm working on where I'm uh, importing all the videos from all the awesome uh, readers, basically. And uh, all those videos are, of course, embedded to YouTube. You can click through those videos and subscribe to those people. But it's getting really, really hard to find new people because there's like a bunch of new clutter and things like that when you search. So I wanted to create a site where you could find new people. Uh, if you don't see one of your favorite readers on there, definitely let me know. Uh, I will make sure to add them. I, I have a whole list of people I'm trying to add right now. Um, so chances are um, they're already on the list. But just in case, feel free to uh, let me know if I do not have one of your favorite readers on there. But uh, that's that. Uh, let's see what's going on for you. Looks like a good week this week for you. Definitely dealing with some people, some new things coming in which is nice, a different message. I feel like your message has been very similar for the past couple weeks, which, I mean, that gets boring for me, so uh, that's nice, but let's see. You start off here, King of Clubs. This is you, Leo, definitely, uh, you coming in here, so that's very good when you come up as yourself. It puts you in a position of strength, a position of power. It allows you to get things that you want from this week. I'm actually getting that a lot of you could be traveling this week. Kind of a weird message. This is not a travel card, but I am getting that some of you could be doing some traveling. I think it would be very good for you to do. I think you'll actually uh, probably gain some new, and it could be next week as well I'm getting as actually now that it's uh, coming in but some of you this week some of you next week maybe uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be long distance although I think for a bunch of you it is long distance travel some of you could be local or something but it's almost like uh, you know like I said it's kind of like a weird message because uh, it's just coming in it's not come really coming off of the card but I feel like there could be some surprising things that happen or just some weird conclusions or something that you come to through this travel um, you could be like offered some sort of position or that you don't expect or you know you could decide like you know what I really want to like move here like you could you could come to these types of conclusions and these types of realizations it's it's like um, something major is kind of happening for you uh, and you know I feel like there are other people involved. You have this Queen of Spades. I actually feel like this is somebody who's coming in to uh, help you out here. For those of you that will be traveling, I feel like this is somebody who's coming in. It could be a male or female as well. You know, I don't attach sex to my card, so it doesn't matter. Um, but um, yeah, I, I definitely feel like this could be like somebody who is like a leader actually. Um, you know, in some sort of leadership position who sees something that you don't. I think that's why it's coming up as a queen of spades. Again, I'm getting some very strange messages this week about like what the cards are trying to say. So bear with me here. But um, I am getting that it's it's showing up as a queen of spades, which is normally a card of somebody trying to trick you. But uh, like I said, I'm getting a different message this week. It's more like they see something that you don't maybe in you and they're, and they're trying to help you. And again, it feels like a lot of you could be doing that. I think for those of you that aren't even traveling, I think you could have a friend this week or something come to you that just see something you don't. They're going to open your eyes to something. Definitely pay attention to whatever that is. Uh, it will be very important for you and it will help you out a lot. It um, feels very important. So just, you know, again, if somebody comes to you and you don't really see something, but they do, pay, just pay attention to it. Next, you have the King of Hearts. I feel like there is somebody in your life probably who could be younger than you. I think this message came up last week now that I think about it, but I, I do feel like there is somebody who's younger than you who, uh, even though they're showing up as a king, which would be like the same level as you this week because you're showing up as a king as well, I feel like they could be younger than you, maybe even a child, and they could be have some... Um, some major wisdom for you as well. A lot of people, it's like all of a sudden the universe is like sending people to you this week for whatever reason to tell you things. This is going to be important. So if you have a water sign child, or if you, you know if you happen to know you have a younger water sign around you, like a friend or something, they could also have something very important for you. But this is also, I feel like, uh, almost like something coming in for you. I always say the King of Hearts to me can be a card of like your ships returning, things coming in to you, uh, getting new energies coming to you, and new opportunities as well. So I feel like there, there could be several opportunities coming in for a lot of you. It could be in love, could be in work, business, could be in finance, whatever. Um, so that is very nice as well. Um, also, if you're retired, I'm getting... Um, there could be somebody coming in to help you, you know, with your finances and things like that. So pay attention to that. Next, you have the Five of Clubs. Five of Clubs is a card of taking part in hobbies. This message has come up for you quite frequently. Um, you know, doing some things regarding hobbies and things like that. I think what it really is for you is I think it's uh, a card of that's saying you need to maybe relax a little bit 
let loose, let your air down, and you know, kind of have more fun and do more fun things. So uh, this might be a good yes week for you, where you don't say no to things, where you just say yes. Uh, where people say, hey, you want to go do this, you say yes. You don't even think about it. You just go, even if you don't want to do it. Um, because again, I feel like there's a lot of things that you might not be seeing this week that other people are. So pay attention to those things. Just keep an open mind to everything this week and uh, just say yes to things that could be fun even if you don't want to do them. Uh, next you have the Ten of Hearts, fortune after difficulty, good things happening to you after a difficult period of time. I'm also getting that some of you could be getting some more uh, rather positive health news as well. I think if some of you have maybe had a scare recently or um, you know have had something happen, it might be a lot less. It's still, you know, if I'm being honest, for some of you, it still might not be great, but it might be a lot less than you think. Um, that's the message that's coming in. It's just saying it might be a lot less. I don't know what that means, but uh, it might be a lot less. Um, or it just might not be as bad as, as it was originally thought, and it will it will be a lot easier to fix. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, this is also a great card for uh, socializing, going to parties, uh, traveling, again, comes up with this card. And this card also does represent good news coming to you. I do feel like there's like a good deal of a good deal of good news coming to you this week, so I really like to see that for you as well. And finally, you end on the Six of Diamonds, really starting something new. Uh, like I said, I feel like a lot of you are starting something new, are seeing new beginnings, and again, could be rather surprising, could be something you never thought of doing uh, or never even thought about in the first place. This card is also a card of responsibility. I think you are, you have become more responsible. I, that's why the card's coming up. It's saying that you have learned through you know, severe difficulties and things like that, you have become more responsible and you're learning how to deal with things a lot better. Um, and you're also learning how to budget and things like that, which a lot of you could be doing. Um, so I really like to see this as well. And it does say you're on the right path. Like, you know, there's a clear path down the middle of the six. It says you're going in the right direction. You're doing the right things that you need to do and things should be moving forward for you from here on out. So, wow, crazy week, crazy messages as usual for Leo. Um, so thank you for watching and enjoy your week.